Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wired Gaming. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all good. Now, it is Friday, and we have a letter from the Generation Zero dev team. This one is pretty much all bad news, some good news, um, but as many of you may know, the base assault update has been having some issues. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the, from all the support from you guys, I've had a lovely time away. I'll be back fully to content on Monday. So Monday, 8 p.m., we will have our first video out, and then it'll be back to usual from Monday onwards. But I couldn't resist putting my thoughts out there for this one. I am not going to lie. I am a little bit hacked off with the team for the way that this has been handled. The base assault update was released on the 7th of April. And... Immediately, there was issues. Those issues weren't addressed until three days ago. The downside to that was four days ago, they released a DLC. So these issues were known. They were pointed out in the in every stream that's been since it's been released, which they weren't addressed in that. Um, it, the question was, <clears throat> it wasn't ignored, but the words were the team were looking into it and still there has been no official statement so it was pretty much radio silence which is a little bit ridiculous now that is fine um the radio silence thing was that that got to me a little bit but then releasing a dlc which primarily focuses around base building which is one of the major parts of the base assault update is a bit of a slap in the teeth not gonna lie um it's a bit ridiculous I don't want to be completely negative, but you should not be promoting a paid DLC for content that doesn't work for the majority of your players. Now, I've had my little bit of a rant. We're going to leave it at that. I am a little bit hacked off with it. Hopefully they don't make the same mistake again, because it's it's not good. And you know a lot of the community are pretty pissed off, if I'm completely honest. And I 100% agree with that. Promoting a paid DLC for content that doesn't work is absolutely ridiculous. And then addressing that the content doesn't work the day after you've released the paid DLC. Kicking the teeth to your fan base. let's be honest. Now, bad stuff out the way. I don't normally do rants like that, but it's done, it's over. Sorry, I love Generation Zero. Everybody knows that I do. Now, with the release of Base Assault Update, there are many places to ransack Phoenix for supplies or defend resistance bases. At least that was our main intent, to offer more activities in-game for all to enjoy. And the base assault update was absolutely amazing for the one base that it worked. Um, now, <clears throat> unfortunately the update has come with a bug that we could not find in our battery of testing that we did before release. We saw some early signs after the initial release that there was a growing problem, but it took some time to confirm and identify the issue. This is currently causing many people, upwards of 40% of users, who are engaging with the combat base assault base defense to only be able to get the base to spawn once. After which, nothing spawns on the map regardless of how high a player pushes the region score. Now, <clears throat> I feel like they're dumbing down the 40%. I'm not 100% sure, they might not be, but the Discord, my Discord, almost everybody in that, there's over 100 people in that, and pretty much all of them play Generation Zero. Uh, I think there's three people in the Discord that the base assault works for. So, you know, I have a feeling it's not working for quite a lot of people. Alongside that, there's been a lot of crashes for people, which... Crashes, it happens, you know, they've addressed that instantly, and they're working on a fix for that, which is brilliant. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but... That's brilliant. They're working on that fix. They're going to get that out as soon as they can. So, happy with that. From what we've seen this far, depending on individual players' timing, it can cause the game to potentially be saved in an incorrect state. This does cause further issues with the logic behind the generation of new Phoenix bases and base defense triggers. We have a potential fix that needs to go through more testing before we can release it to everyone. But we can confirm a hot fix is coming for this. As always, we are very grateful for the community reports flagging this and the patience you've all shown during this period. Due to the nature of the bug, the steps and rate it is possible to reproduce it and the publishing cycle to get a fix to consoles, we have to release the hotfix on Steam first and follow up with Xbox PlayStation just after. Once we have confirmed fixes, we can update everyone with a more precise date. We're looking forward to getting the base assault back online for everyone to enjoy soon. 
In the meantime, anyone continuing to experience this issue, any any additional information or save files can always help us find the problem, as well as the solution. So please don't hesitate to contact the support. Now, I will paste the link down in the description below for the support there. So do check that out. If you are having issues, get it over to them. The more separate players that report it and the more stuff they've got to work with, the faster and easier it is for the guys to get this sorted. Now, my rant at the start of the video, um, I, I, I will apologize because it's not normally my style. I don't like bashing the game. I absolutely love Generation Zero. I always have done and always will do. I'll always play the game. There's always got a home on wide gaming. Uh, as long as stuff like this doesn't continue to happen, I will always play it. Um, if there's constant ball aches like this, then, you know, it, 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 we'll see. We'll see. I've got so many videos planned and hashed out, ready to go with the base assault. But it's not working, so I did take a week off at the right time, to be perfectly honest, because I haven't got the Generation Zero content to make that I wanted to make, and it did upset me a little bit because I love the game and I wanted to play it, I wanted to bring you guys content, but can't do that, you know. So I'm not going to restart and create new save files constantly just to, to get that footage. I don't feel like we should have to do that to enjoy a new update, and... Fair enough, it came out, and there was issues, which is fine. Issues that it happens, you know. We, no one's perfect. The team worked really hard on these updates. Brilliant. And, you know, that, that's fine. My main issue is, as I've mentioned at the start, is them pretty much ignoring the issue and not putting something out. Even just a quick Twitter to say, you know, oh, guys, we're experiencing some problems with the base assault. If you do have any issues, please report it here. We're looking into it. That is more than enough. That will help the community and that will put people's minds at rest that we're not being ignored. So something like that, I think the team should do a lot more often, especially when they, we had a lot of issues last year and there were some big problems there and it was radio silent, which pissed off a lot of the community and a lot of the community decided to leave the game. Hopefully this doesn't happen again, but we'll see. We'll see going forward. Now, I know this has been a bit more of a negative video than I'd normally put out, so I do apologize for that. If you are new and this is the first time you're watching me, this isn't how I normally am. This isn't my usual style. But I feel like something had to be said on this one. I was going to keep quiet. I was going to not say a word and just let everything go along. But two weeks after it had been released and them releasing a paid DLC for content that doesn't work, I think it's just a smack in the teeth to all the people that have been here from day one. For today, though, ladies and gentlemen, very sorry for my negativity. I am going to leave that there. We will be back on Monday at 8 p.m. GM, sorry, BST, British Summertime. Uh, the time zone's a bloody nightmare. Uh, we'll be back at 8 p.m. BST with some green hell. And then on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. BST, as our usual Generation Zero videos. For now, though, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video. If you want to support the channel a little bit further, consider checking out the Members tab. I've been Wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we will see you very soon with some more Generation Zero.